In this video, I'm going to show you the basic setups of an automated article creator using make.com and Airtable. So let's uh, minimize my head, get me down here. So we start in Airtables where I have created this space. Uh, it is a simple spreadsheet. That is what Airtable is, or it's actually a database, um, visualized database. And in our um, table here, we can see we have keywords. So we base our article on a keyword or search phrase. We will then want to generate a title, the article itself, a meta description and a featured image. Alrighty then. First step is to also have a make account. So luckily I already have a make account and not in teams, but in scenarios, we're going to create a new scenario. We're going to click the plus sign and we want to pull in information from air tables. Now I am going to pull information from make um, or from air table into make. So whenever we do a pull, it's not a, it is an automated process, but if you want to really automate stuff, you want to do push automations, but then we would need to do a webhook or a webhook call, which would further complicate, complicate this setup. And we are not going to do that. So instead we are just going to do search record uh, in order to get these over here. These rows are called records in order to get a record. We need to create a connection between make an air table. So we want to do an air table token or key and we then need it's a personal access token. And then I need a token for us to create a token. We will go up, click our little um, account here, click on developer hub. We will then get to this page where I have a lot of clients here um, and you will click on this blue sign called create new token. Yay. We're over here. I've already named this token is called demo delete because I'm going to delete it afterwards in the scopes. We're going to add all the scopes that you can find here. So just add everything and then you're going to select either the base itself or your complete workspace. Let's create a token and I will copy this token. Go back into make. We're going to paste our token in save and we should see a connection here. We should now be able to select the base, which is simple article creator from here. We will be able to select the table, which is table one. And we want to select all here because we just want everything returned. We're going to limit the search to one. So every time this runs, it will only pull one out. Um, and now I can see that it is a bit of a mistake because I'm going to add one little feature to this. Give me a sec. Okay. Now I just added a column. So we have the featured image and I added a check mark column here. So whenever we generate an article, this check mark will be checked, which means that we cannot search for it. Uh, when pulling information from Airtable, we will disregard all the records here, which have this check mark. And the way we do that is to add in the formula for the search function, we add these uh, curly brackets and then we write the name of the column, which is is done. We then add an equal sign and then we add two singular quote marks, not, not double quotes, but single um, quote marks. So. This means that inside these two, it is empty. We click OK. Now I set the limit to 10 uh, just to test. We right click and we say run this module only. We should now get four bundles, one, two, three and four. If we go ahead and uh, select two of these is done, we do the same again. Click we run this module only. We should only get two bundles and that we do great. Now we can deselect these three or these two. So all is done and we will limit our search result to one again. Okay. Now we get this bundle in. Let's just run this one time. So we only get one bundle. Yay. There we go. Now we shall add an open AI node and we want to create a completion. This one create a completion again. Now we need to create a connection here. Open AI API key. Let's just go to my API keys, create a new one, demo delete. If I can spell, it's not important. And then we copy the API key. Remember to copy it before you exit, paste that in, click save. And we now have access to all the goodies. So we want to create a chat completion. We want to select GPT-4 because it is the most capable version. Click, uh, we need to add 
one will i always add a system and a user prompt let's just add these two because we're going to rename this first this is going to be our title so for the system prompt we will add this text you're an expert headline writer you never write headlines longer than 60 characters long a pro tip when to prompt or on prompting uh, AI for specific word length. Always use characters as the defining measurement for how long something should be because um, a three word sentence can vary greatly in length. I love you versus something is wrong. These two are both three word sentences, but the latter is way longer. So you get the, get what I'm saying. And then for the user prompt, we are gonna add this prompt, write a headline, including the keyword, and then we're gonna insert, then we're gonna click in between these uh, brackets here. And from the uh, search result, from the Airtable search, result, we can now click on this keyword. And this is now dynamically linked. So whenever we search and pull in, we're gonna get this keyword in here. Keep it plain, use simple words, don't use power words, yada, yada, yada. Great, now let's save this and get my head out of the way and click run once, because now we should be able to get a title. You can click on these bubbles up here and see the result. Um, so you can see the output and then we click on choice, expand the one, expand the message and then the content, how to shave a cat safely at home. Brilliant title. Let's duplicate this one or clone it. We will rename this one into writer if I can. Writer. Okay. Now we're going to change the system prompt to uh, it's going to write a 500 word text. Don't ever add fluff. You always write the most important information first. Let's now add the user prompt. And you can see here that I've written again, I restate that please write a 500 word concise and to the point text with the H1 title, or I should say based on the H1 title. And then we're going to add the h1 title in here and again we can now select the output from this title writer and to select the output from an open ai node in make we're gonna expand the choices we're gonna expand the message we're gonna select the content i've just written this for uh, demonstration purposes but split up the text into three h2 sections never add the h1 title to the output use markdown to format the text but do not add a markdown wrapper then we're going to clone this one we're going to rename it into i apparently can't do that to meta damn it meta there we go then we're going to change the system prompt to you're an expert seo meta description writer and then what it should write in the user prompt please write an SEO optimized meta description below 140 characters based on the post blog post title. Then we're going to select the title. There we go. And the main keyword is, and then we're going to select the main keyword from down here. Weave in the main keyword toward the start of the meta description. Do not split the main keyword. Do not start with discover, learn or uncover. I've written couple of meta descriptions before so i know that it wants to add these words um start mid sentence or with a question you can click this auto align to auto align all your notes the last thing we're going to do is add an image so cancel rename featured image or IMG. Okay. Then the model is Dali 3 and the prompt. Let me just see. Sizes. We should go here. Quality standard. We want HD. Style vivid and neutral. Thank you. Format. Uh, let's take URL. No, let's do file image. Then should we do URL? Let's see. On the image, we will do a very simple prompt. Create a 16 by 9 hyper realistic photograph embodying the essence of the article title then we're going to select the title message content title here we go click ok click save then we are going to upload all this to Airtable again so we're gonna click on the Airtable node and select update a record there we go and here we're gonna select this base the table we only have one table for the record ID we're going to select uh, the first node here where it says ID. So we know where to place all these fancy things. Then we're going to select title, which will be our 
title, our article, which will be our writer content, our meta description, which will be our meta description. There we go. And let's look at the featured image here, file URL. Awesome. We're going to get this from here. Let's hope we are getting the right URL and let's rename the image. Now I can't remember. Let's see. I can't remember the file output of DALI 3. I think they just switched to um, web P. So the file name, we're going to do the title, click OK. And for one last thing is that we're going to course go to is done and click yes here, because now when we generate an article and it uploads all the goodies to Airtables, it will also check this checkbox here. So we won't generate this article again. Again, this is a very simplified article generator, but you get the point. Um, so now we can run this once and see what happens. So we generated a title, we are writing it probably or I'm very confident that it won't be 500 words, but it will be close enough. If you're going to write uh, 2000 or 10,000 word articles, you need to do it in another process where you iterate, but that is much more complex. So we're not going to go into this. Let's just look at the title and see if we generate how to shave a cat safely. It did the, exactly the same title. So probably think it's a good title. We wrote something. We created a meta description. Let's see if we're going to get a featured image. Let's see the meta description. We can see on choices, on message, wondering how to save cat without stress. Yeah, I, I have a cat and if I were to shave that, I would be very nervous because I would be shredded into pieces. Let's, and there we go. Featured image has now been created. Let's go back to Airtables and see it actually worked. How to shave a cat safely at home. I have no idea how it looks. Let's see. It's a cat, it's a shaver and safe pet grooming <laughs> and a very skewed bathroom. So I, yeah, Dali 3 isn't the best at hyper realistic images. Um, or composition, I would use mid journey, but that is also very hard to automate in an API. But now we have how to shave a cat safely at home. We have this. Oh, I forgot one thing because our article here, we can right click on this column, say edit field, and we can enable rich text formatting. When we do that, our uploaded markdown will get formatted correctly. So this is correctly formatted uh, markdown, but it didn't show correctly because we um, we hadn't added the enable rich text formatting for this column. So let's just do that for the next. Is running bad for you? Let's run this one more time. Run once and all right, we have now generated that article and you can see that it didn't pull from the top. So where does moon dust come from? I would like to see that image. So what did it create? It created something else. Um, but now you can see the article. We now have this as an H2. Um, composition and properties of moon dust, implications for lunar exploration, all good and dandy. What you can do now in order to automate this is that you can set your timer at, let's say, two minutes or five minutes or something like that. Um, I'm on a free trial account, so mine can only be 15 minutes. Um, so, But let's just say 15 minutes or you can just run them manually. You would set this at a regular interval. You would load up uh, 1000 articles in here and you would just have it chuck away and generate articles. If you want to get fancy, you can then add um, WordPress, for example. So you can start uploading these articles directly into WordPress. So create a post, you would tie that in after here, create a connection and then add in uh, all these things into the uh, WordPress CMS. And we're going to delete that save. Let's just generate the last whoops to run once while this is running, we can uh, just take a quick look at some of the more advanced stuff that can be done on these platforms. So this is my for example, this is one of my scripts. It's a car talk uh, block creator. So when I drive to and from work, I sit in my car for about uh, 45 minutes. In that time, I can speak my thoughts and my um, knowledge into my phone while I'm driving. So it's safe. I then upload these scripts or these uh, audio files into Google Drive, which then gets processed by this large automation here. 
and yeah you can't see it all in one go but it has a lot of different steps in here so generally we transcribe it we generate an outline we generate a better outline we uh, create an instruction for how to use the transcript we create a title as well we create a prompt for the featured image we generate the featured image then we generate some alt texts we resize the images add them to wordpress we generate more alt images. We then add this to a writer section. You can see here we now have iterators. This will just go and loop through this writing process for all the H2s. We then do some more stuff. We add a markdown. So yeah, if you write here, the uh, writer is outputting in markdown. In order to get it to WordPress, you would need to add this uh, did it, did it, markdown here. Then we create a meta description, we create a slog, and then we create a post, update our Airtable, and then we copy the audio files into new folders and rename them. So we can keep track. This is just one of many scripts that I have running for content creation. You can see for the uh, blog agency, we have a lot here. So uh, post captions, facts, we have scraping website topics, all that like, and a lot more over here. Let's just take the last one just for fun. So we can see what is a dolphin? A dolphin is actually a whale. So mammal, do, 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 anatomy and psychology, behavior and social structure. Awesome. So now you know how to create a very simple article creator um, or automated, auto, automated article creator. And now when this is done running, we won't be able to process anymore uh, we might actually because it will run uh, so once this is done running you should not run this anymore because it will actually run through these steps even though we don't get a record here what this will do is that it will fail at the last point now we got it is running bad for you and we can see that we have a very bad man here in very bad shape because he ran too much. Um, what you could do, so I, I'll just show you here. If we start the run, it will continue and it will do weird stuff. Let's just force stop here. Let's see what it did for. Yeah, you haven't provided specific keyword. So now it isn't generating, it is generating something. It's just uh, complaining that we haven't given it enough information. So in order to, um, not run all the nodes, you'd click on this, on these dots here in order to filter. And the condition is that the something exists. So for example, ID exists. So whenever we search here and we get a an ID number, so the record ID, if that exists, it will run, it will continue running past this point. So if I run it now, it will stop here because the filter um, filtered out the empty one because we have finished all our blog posts. So if we uncheck this one and run it again, it will now continue and rewrite our cat shaving guide. So I hope uh, this short, I don't know if it's uh, too, too short, probably around 20 minutes, but this uh, beginner's guide on how to automate article creation uh, was helpful. And if you want these scripts, for example, let me just see V2 share. So if you want these scripts here for free with outline generation and uh, WordPress upload and all that writing thingies, plus uh, the complete base for generating that, then you can just join our free community and you'll get access to all of that for free. So, um, or you can just do all of this yourself, but um, I'm inviting you to Take a shortcut and start learning how to be a master in content generation or automatic content generation. So until the next video, have an awesome day. Bye.